Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla and it's time to crack into a good book. So today's video is going to be an unboxing of the September Adult Unplugged Book Box. So this came earlier this week and I somehow managed to wait to unbox it until now. So, you know, like that's good, I guess. Before we jump into it, leave some sort of fall emoji in the comments to let me know that you're here because fall is just around the corner, yay. So let us jump right into this. Okay. So the theme here is Rise from the Ashes. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens here. Also, you're not going to be able to see this for sure. I don't know why I thought that would work. Clearly, I still don't have a great solution for this, but we'll just store it in there for the moment. Okay, so the first thing I see here is, oh, it is a Lestat candle. Let's bourbon, spice, and blood. Mm, yes. Oh, my. That actually smells pretty good. So that's what it looks like. I guess that, that's our drop of blood there. I don't know. It smells like, I don't know, a nice fall candle. Like, I don't know. I'm not really getting bourbon out of there. But, like, it almost smells more fruity. Anyway, we have that as, as a thing. We'll balance these items one at a time, I guess. And maybe this will work. Okay, the next item is, what is this? <laughs> Bee's Hair Rinse by Hair Garden Nursery, Mango, slash Runaways. What does that mean? I don't know. Let's see. It's sealed. I can't smell it at all. That's good. What is this from? I have zero idea. Can we balance it? Where's our spoiler card? Oh, okay. So this is from One to Watch, apparently. So I have not actually read that. I know what it's about. It's like, the, what it says here, it's a plus size fashion blogger who's sick of the lack of the diversity, body diversity in some of her favorite shows. And so she's doing something with fashion skills. I don't know. But anyway, yes, this is a hair rinse. Interesting, interesting. We'll leave that there so I can access it a little bit. Okay, so now we have this, oh my God, is that a mug? <gasps> it looks like a mug. I hope this is like a fun, oh my God, hang on, hang on. What do we have here? What do we have here? Oh my God. Okay, so it says, just because something seems impossible doesn't make it untrue. Oh my God, it's like a little mini cauldron. I assume this is a mug and it has, it's like really dark blue in here and has like little fun speckles. I don't know if you can see that at all. What is this from? Okay, this is really cute. Okay, no, straight up, that is that is not that is not a mug. <laughs> this, is, this is in fact a bowl. <laughs> so this is from a discovery of witches, and there should be an item that accompanies it, which maybe we will find it momentarily. There should be a spoon. So yes, that's from a discovery of witches, which I have actually read and enjoyed. Um, let's see if I can. I'll just move things around here. That seems precariously balanced. Okay. Oh, there it is. I have found the spoon. No, oh my God. Okay. Is, oh my God. I love these types of spoons. Okay. I'm, I'm excited about this. Oh, that's so pretty. And it's, it's like the, the dark blue. Oh my goodness. Look how precious this is. Oh, that's so cute. I don't, that's like probably one of my favorite things I've ever gotten in this box. Actually. I'm, I'm very excited about that. Okay. So next I see we have a bath bomb that is bright orange. And this is actually from King Killer Chronicles. Oh my god. I've never, I don't think they've done a King Killer Chronicles item before. I'm trying to smell it through the bag because that, that works really well. Let's see here. What does it tell me? So, yeah, I don't know what the scent is. It is the mystery scent. It smells like cinnamon, actually. That's exciting. I love cinnamon, so I'm, I'm, actually happy about that. <laughs> That's not going to balance, so we'll just, we'll just place it in here. Then next, my god, this box is packed. So we have a reading blend, a cozy autumn reading blend. In fact, it's pumpkin chai latte. That sounds delicious. I do love a good chai latte, so I will for sure use this. Let's see if this is from anything. Nope, just generally a, a nice autumn reading blend tea. I'm excited about that. I will use this. Okay, so now we have mystery satchel. I don't know, I don't know what this is. It was a cute little star thing. Let's open it. Oh, shit. That fell out of there. Okay, so we have... Oh, I wonder if this is a bottle opener. Okay, let's see here. This is Claire's Healing Bee... What does that say? I cannot read that. I don't know what propolis is. What does that mean? Does anybody know what that means? Is that like... What is this? There's what it looks like. I mean, it smells vaguely like honey, I guess. <laughs> what, what is propolis? 
Okay, well, this is interesting and educational, so I had no idea what this is. So it's apparently a compound produced by bees thought to fight infections, heal wounds, and more. It's bee glue. Mm, yes, they produce it by mixing saliva and beeswax with things gathered from tree buds, sap flows, and other botanical sources. What do you actually use it for? We, we always love some good bee saliva. It says it can just be used, like, topically. Well, that means that makes sense. I'm assuming it's like if you get a cut or something like that, you can put it on there. But it may be useful for minor wounds, oral hygiene, inflammation, and cold sores. So we've got, yeah, assorted wound healing. And then we have this key situation that I've just been holding this entire time. So this is a key that is a bottle opener, and it's Sherlock Holmes inspired. That's nice. It's actually, like, really portable looks cute so that's good i'm gonna move this so it doesn't fall that seems smart okay now we ooh, we have some, some <laughs> very sparkly hair clips yes the oh shit okay well that is ex exciting all right i'm i'm excited okay so the, i mean these are like skeletal hand hair clips but this it does say they're inspired by the bone maker so we love that i just read that it was awesome these are very sparkly so yay for fun spooky accessories Okay, so I think those are all the actual items. So now we're getting to the book. So we have a note that kind of got a little bit crumpled, but that's okay. So we have a note from the author, and then we've got a assigned book plate. So I will admit I have not heard of this book, but let's let's find out what it's about. So it's it comes in this like black bag packaging, which I'll rip and tear. Er. Yes, I'm so good at doing this on camera. Okay, so this is The Night We Burned by S.F. Costa. Let us see what it's about. Dora is always aware of the line between fact and fiction. As a fact checker at an online magazine, her job depends on it. And as a woman outrunning her secrets, so does her life. But when a colleague decides to pursue a story about a murder in her hometown, one linked to a deadly fire at a cult compound 20 years prior, all of Dora's carefully spun deceptions are suddenly at risk. If she can't stop the story, her entire life is on the line. So as she works with her colleague, altering facts to hide her past along the way, she's thrown back into a world she tried desperately to leave behind. One of ritual and belonging, of danger and darkness. A world where two girls promised to help each other through until it all went up in flames. As her lies pile up, so did the murders, until she realizes she won't be lucky enough to escape twice. That sounds kind of interesting. I, again, have not heard of this, but this is fun. Look at, look at how nice that goes together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this apparently came out August 10th. So... Yeah, that's fun. Anywho, okay, those are all of our items. Yay. We'll, we'll just place that back there. So the only thing remaining in this is like, you know, these little squiggly things, but also the... Oh, that makes sense. Okay, September is their anniversary box. Wow. They've been in business for three years, so that makes sense why there's a lot of stuff in there. The uh, themes for October, the YA one is violence, and then the adult one is the walls are closing in. So some nice spooky ones. I seem to remember I didn't recognize the adult book. Like, I think it's horror, perhaps, or thriller. I don't know. But hopefully it'll be good. So you'll have that to look forward to coming up next, I guess. We'll take a look at all of the items up close here. This is kind of like a jumbled mess because I just threw things on there. But yeah, so this is the, the spoiler card and the, the thing for next month. So we'll just throw that on the ground. <laughs> we have the book up close. We've got this this B situation. Mm -hmm. the, the key bottle opener. Here's this bath bomb that smells kind of like cinnamon. We have the chai tea blend that looks delicious. We have the candle. We've got this. Ooh, that's not going to focus. Please focus. Yeah, this this hair thing. We've got our, our fun little hair clips right there. And then, of course, we have this bowl and spoon situation. So there's what it looks like. And then, nope, that still looks black, but it is a very dark blue. That'll do it for today. So let me know in the comments what you think of this box. And for your question of the day, what was your favorite product? Like, clearly, I was a big fan of this, this bowl <laughs> and the spoon. So I really like these types of spoons. I don't know. Hi, Venus. Thank you for coming to help. Do you like this, too? Yes. What, what do you think about that? Is that good? Okay. Anyway, yeah, so let me know what you like the best, and 
I do have a Discord channel, and if you want to join that, the link's in the description below. I hope you're all having an excellent day. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up, as that would certainly help me out. But with that, I think I'm going to wrap it up here, and see you in the next one.